so all right so these are the uh, spot images from ultrasound examination uh, in which i can see that the right testicular parenchyma itself is appearing normal uh, there is no evidence of uh, any abnormal heterogeneity of its parenchyma no evidence of any lesion within the substance of the testes itself uh, then as we come up uh, we do not have any image of the vascularity showing within the testicular parenchyma but as we come up we see that there is uh, thickening and heterogeneous appearance of the left epididymis uh, and epididymal body which is showing internal uh, fluid as well as internal echogenic areas along the periphery. Uh, I can also see that there is some peripheral vascularity in that area, but this area is uh, uh, largely devoid of central vascularity on Doppler evaluation. So uh, I, there is minimal uh, right-sided hydrocele. Uh, no definite varicocele. There is some scrotal wall edema, uh, but uh, in the rest of the images, I do not see any other abnormality. So uh, my differential here would be uh, um, summary. So epididymal abnormality predominantly, which is but sparing the uh, uh, testicular parenchyma itself. Excellent. So now the differentials here, if I consider this as being lesion, this is somewhat showing onion ring type of appearance, then epidermoid of this area can be one possibility. Then the other possibility is can be, but the vascularity is not, as the vascularity is not increased, I would consider infection lower down. I'm not be thinking of that much. Uh, then as uh, central vascularity is devoid, then I can also consider as uh, uh, mm, torsion of the testicular appendage from possibility. Okay, so um, good. You your summary is good. So you, you're localizing that it is extratesticular. It's bilateral epididymal, extratesticular yes. or epididymal enlargement with yes, hypoechoic yes. nodules. Uh, this area, there is no increased vascularity, only in the periphery. Is it uh, necessary any uh, any infection that could have normal or near normal vascularity? Any mm, infection that could last? So, if there is a inv bilateral involvement, then TB is one of the possibilities. Okay. Uh, urinary urinary TB, which may show some normal vascularity. If I consider this to be bilateral involvement, then other uh, measles, I think mumps, mumps, I think mumps may have normal vascularity probably. Mumps usually in pediatric age group. But apart from that, any granulomatous infection of other sort, if I'm considering again bilateral involvement, so I would also be considerate of some systemic causes. Yes, so excellent. Any other, any other modality or uh, any test that you'd like to see or previous images you'd like to look for? Mm, yes. Uh, if you if consider I have contrast CT or MR, that would help. If you're considering TB. Yes, TB. TB. What do you look for? I'll, 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 I'll go for CT chest with contrast or if I got a chest X-ray. Yes. So here, excellent description. This is the right stickle. It's normal. And then here, left supratesticular meaning it's extra testicular we can see here the left testicle is normal and this is epididymis and this is right yeah. in the body and it shows the same finding so this is your chest x-ray chest ct that you asked for so yeah so in this is a chest a, a single shot from ct chest lung window coronal section in which i can see that there is apical fibrosis and uh uh, a cavitatory lesion with the thick peripheral walls and central lucency in the right lung apex. Some fibrosis is also seen in the left lung apex as well. So yeah, the appearances are suggestive of pulmonary TB, then uh, tuberculous involvement of bilateral epididyme. Excellent. And this was the diagnosis, epididymis tuberculosis. Usually epididymitis, uh, by presentation, it shows as uh, bulky epididymis with hyperemia. However, tuberculosis, uh, can present as subacutely or uh, with such appearance, and sometimes it can even mimic neoplastic processes. So always keep in mind TB. Look for chest X-ray, chest CT, looking for features of TB. So uh, and usually scrotal tuberculosis begins in the tail, 
uh, always TB loves the epididymis. So it starts in the epididymis and then goes to the scrotum if it's extensive. Unlike brucellosis, brucellosis goes to the uh, testicle itself, then spreads outside. And uh, 30 to 50 percent of patients who have uh, uh, who have uh, tuberculosis and the epididymis have pulmonary involvement or history of exposure of TB. Uh, this is a good article. It's actually a very excellent article in showing abdominal tuberculosis uh, from all uh, imaging parameters, uh, peritonitis, uh, adrenal, ovarian, with good images. Uh, if you have time to just see the images and their description. Uh, excellent. Good job. Uh, you got the diagnosis. Thank you.